In this segment, we're going to look at an example uh, that involves uh, inventory management with periodic review and dynamic demand. So Ace Brush uh, example where Joe Wash works. A, uh, Joe is a salesman for the company, so presumably he's selling Ace Brush, the toothbrush or something. Every three weeks, he contacts Dollar Department Store to know the inventory level. Okay, well, that sounds like saying that Joe Walsh is um, managing Dollar Department Store's in, uh, inventory on a periodic review basis. Every three weeks, he, he does that. Why is he doing that? Why doesn't he just on a daily or hourly basis um, know the inventory? Well, the way it's set up here, it sounds like Joe is a supplier, is a vendor. Dollar is his customer. So if he tries to run on a continuous review, meaning he every hour, every half an hour, he will call up his contact to know what's the level. How many do you have now? How many do you have now? Well, very soon he might lose his customer even, right? So it's just being so irritating. So as we can practically imagine, running it as a periodic review, knowing the actual inventory left in Dollar Department Store every three weeks, sounds reasonable and sounds, uh, with all factors concerned, uh, a good choice. Right? Then we were further given, weekly demand is approximately normal distribution, a mean of 60 SD of 9. That's fine, we know weekly demand. And we know the periodic review interval, that's three weeks. The lead time is one week, so protection interval is already known, that's three plus one, that's four weeks. Dollar would like a stock out probability of 2%, therefore a service level of 98%. So currently dollar has 75 brushes, how many should we order? So that's basically wanting us to work out an inventory policy based on periodic review with dynamic demand, uh, knowing that daily or weekly demand is normally distributed. Then further, we are given the annual holding cost rate and the cost and setup cost to calculate the inventory cost annually. So here's the deal. We write down the weekly demand. Our earlier uh, video working on the, you know, uh, 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 sort of a numerical example was based on days. Here it is based on week and that's fine, no problem. The statistical calculation is the same. So to go from one week to four weeks, we need to add up the distributions, normal plus normal, four times, still normal. Mean will be four times the weekly mean. Variance will be four times the weekly variance, which is nine squared. So standard deviation will be square root of four, which is two times the standard deviation for one week. So we can then determine M, the target inventory level, which is the mean demand during the protection interval plus Z value uh, taken from table or calculator times the standard deviation during protection interval. Right, so we get 277. Having calculated the target inventory level, we subtract our present inventory to get 202. So we should order 202 uh, brush or oh, ace brush. What about the annual cost? Annual cost is having the same um, formula, the components first of all are the same, that is the annual setup cost, the annual holding cost for cycle stock, and the annual holding cost for safety stock. And even the formula looks similar because wherever Q, the order quantity appeared in the continuous re review for uh, with dynamic demand, we replace that with D bar times T. So here's the calculation using the numerical quantities given by the question. So we have H, the holding cost per brush per year, being 75 cents. Weekly demand 60, then we can work out the average annual demand, which is an average weekly demand times 40 weeks per year given in the question. Then we plug in uh, to the formulas to obtain the three components of holding costs. Okay. And of course, the largest seems to be uh, ordering cost. 
So we add them all up to get the annual inventory cost. And this, we claim, is uh, pretty good right? cost. Uh, probably, again, everything is probabilistic, probably the lowest we can expect uh, for the company if we run a periodic review in this manner. Okay, so um, basically that's a simple but quick uh, but illustrative kind of example to show uh, an application of inventory management with periodic review and dynamic demand.